I bought the this FLIR one. It's a thermal imaging camera that hooks up to your phone a few days ago. I use it mostly in the HVAC industry. It's been pretty useful. I'm going to go through a couple of pictures and so you can see what I use it for on a daily basis. You have to download the app. Once you download the app and open it up, it'll tell you to attach your camera and turn it on. You do have to charge the FLIR one. It takes about an hour to charge, but it lasts throughout the day, so it's not bad. The one thing I really like, too, it saves your images straight to your phone, so you don't have to have an extra memory card to save them to, and... You don't have to plug it up to a computer to download the images. So let's go through some photos real quick. Um, this is uh, my breaker panel. And another cool thing is it overlays the uh, original photo on the bottom so you can really see what you're looking at. It's my breaker. One of my breakers is getting too warm. Let's see, um, I was looking, here's my condenser fan motor, um, bright white, let's see, I was uh, taking a look at my heat pump, that is my reversing valve, you can possibly see restrictions with this, um, Here's a, the overlay of it. It's got different modes, which this is one of my favorite modes. I like this one too. Coldest, it's got hottest, rainbow, and I think this one's called Arctic. Let's see. Here's an EVAP coil that the TXV wasn't feeding properly. You can see the top of the coil is pretty much warm here's another picture here's a distributor tubes going to the suction header over here um i can see it coming pretty handy and like uh if you're looking at a maybe a walk-in freezer and you want to make sure your your heaters are coming on when it goes into defrost you can just take a look at it and see if they're on uh, let's see. There's a different modes too. Hottest. I mean, that's coldest. Hottest. And of course, you can check duck duck work with it. Uh, duck leakage. Uh, I was underneath a trailer the other day. Uh, I had some duck leakage, a uh, water leak, collapse, some duck work, and of course, I had to go take care of it. I uh, use this camera first to pinpoint where it was at underneath the house. You can see, you can't see anything there, but I could pick it up on the camera. So I crawled over there, and you can see where the ductwork was falling apart. Let's see. Uh, I was using my recovery machine, and that red or orange. Uh, colors my hose going into my little recovery chiller. Just having fun with it. Uh, let's see what else. It's just looking at uh some lights. Uh, they're not getting enough air in this front 
area of a nursing home. Let's see. I'll go ahead and hook it up. Let's see. There we go. There's my breaker panel. The temperature is pretty accurate. You have to be uh, maybe within three feet to get a good reading, temperature reading. Let's see. Sorry. Here's all the different modes. I put my hand in front. There it is. My hand's laying flat on the table. And then when I move it, you can still see my imprint. So overall, I think it's a pretty useful tool, and I'll be using it a whole lot more.